Hi, this is Tony from MotorWork.com, and I will be doing a look at Microsoft Office on Windows Phone 7 using the Samsung Focus. So you can see there, uh, besides my picture of me just yelling and looking like a fool, um, I have Microsoft Office there, so I'm going to actually go into it and we'll take a look at all the features. So once you get into Office, you have, of course, your side panels where you have different things you can actually use. You can use OneNote to create notes. And I can add a note. You can also go through all your other notes you've created. Um, you can create documents. It can, uh, you can create a, a Word or Excel. You cannot create PowerPoint, but you can't actually access PowerPoint on this. And SharePoint. You can actually use SharePoint to open URLs and retrieve documents from uh, 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 Microsoft SharePoint servers, uh, 2010, and, and so forth. So it's very easy. Let's look at SharePoint quickly. I don't have any SharePoint applications, but... Uh, it's basically very easy to open a, a URL. You just have to type in the URL and it will access that for you. Um, <clears throat> and like I said, it's easy to just basically get links. Uh, you can actually type in the URL there and that will retrieve that for your documents and for other things you use SharePoint for. In the menu, you can sort um, by A to Z. You can import links. So basically, you can actually put in a URL to import links. And uh, you can actually go to the settings. Now, settings for SharePoint, uh, your data storage settings, uh, you can clear your cache, uh, conflicts, UAG servers, uh, startup options, and reset to default. So those are the uh, some of the settings you have for SharePoint. Now, moving on to OneNote. It's very easy to create a note. I can say, you know, different things. Like, you know, I can actually just start typing a note, put at work. Again, I am terrible with touchscreen keyboards, but this keyboard is actually pretty good. And the predictive tech is great. Is great. Of course, it has a spell checker too, which I had border work in there. So now with OneNote, you can actually uh, add audio to it. You can add pictures. You can uh, check, create a list. You can also undo, redo. Bulletize lists, increase indentation. Oh, sorry. Um, let's go back here. You can format and you can decrease indentation. So, uh, if I want to add audio, start adding audio. This is uh, audio from a recording for a review, and just add it to this one note. Stop. So, but audio is added. I added actually the audio in the wrong sector. So, if I can actually grab that. So I can actually play back the audio from the OneNote. Close. Um, I can add a list. Now, of course, the list meaning that's A. And continue. Just move it down there. Um, back. Uh, continue the note. So just keep typing. You can actually create whatever documentation you want to. Like, I don't have anything set I want to do here. And... Um, delete so just going through that the different options and you can also format now format allows you to highlight you can bold utilize underline and of course cross your uh, text if you want to so um, yeah that's uh, pretty much I can add a picture so if I add um, yeah the soccer picture in there so that's added to my note and like you can create uh, keep creating my document uh, enter title B at work. So my title is created and uh, that's done. Now let's just see if we can save this or we do we even have to. If we head back, uh, hidden back button actually saves your notes so you can actually do that. And then the note actually shows up on your um, um, interface for OneNote and it says be at work right there. So. That is OneNote. Now let's look at a document. So this is a document from, um, you can create documents for Excel or Microsoft Word by adding new documents. So Word and Excel, I'll do a Word document quickly. I will just keep typing some stuff. I'm bored. The begin. So this, I'm just typing complete rubbish anyway. So that is uh, me just typing a document. Now the options I have here, I can outline. I can comment on my document actually, if I want to. 
um, I can find the search word I can format. Now format, of course, could same thing. You can bold, utilize, underline, cross, cap, a low case, highlight in different colors, and fonts in these three different colors. These are the color options you have for your fonts. Um, going in, you can undo, redo, you can send, save, or save, or save as, basically change your document. Uh, so I'm actually just going to send this so you can see it's sent. And I'm gonna send it, yes, save changes. So save yes, what do I save the file as? I'll save it as test. Now save. Now who am I sending it to? I'll send it to let me send it to border work. So I'll send it off and email borderwork at gmail.com. Test. And now you can see the icon is saved as a Microsoft Word uh, file. So that's there. I can still attach documents if I want to. So if I go into attachments, um, right now I can only attach pictures if I want to attach to that. So let's attach a picture to it just for the heck of it. Uh, number five, let's attach sample photo. Um, you can prioritize, you can also, also add a CC or BC and send. So document send. Now that is basically Microsoft Word. Let's take a look at Excel. Add. Now Excel, you can also you have your functions. You can actually go through your panel listing of oof, as much as you want, most likely. You can outline, comment, and find. You can sort, apply, filter, format, cell, send, undo, uh, redo, and save. So those are the options. I'm not even going to go into Excel right now, but pretty much you can actually uh, work and edit an Excel spreadsheet on your device. Um, of course, I saved that as book one. Now, to easily, I can easily delete any of these. Now, if I go to PowerPoint, this just basically is a demo showing you what you can do with PowerPoint. I can custom show, I can send, I can edit, notes, outline, save as. So this is a PowerPoint created. Now, PowerPoint actually takes the uh, landscape mode and I'm going to change this to explore PowerPoint on board at work okay so I change that I can change the text here if I want to but I won't done here and then let's see what can we do let's what else can we edit here in here it's done notes next I can move slides in that format I can hide slides if I want to next basically allows you to move in order in your edit changes so um, yeah so that's done in the editing side and let us uh, we can also send or save as so we'll send this again to border work so you guys can see saving changes I save that and let's send it. Do you want to save changes? Yes. So I'm sending this to one second. I'm sending this to border work again. Hope you guys can see that. At gmail.com and send from Windows Home. Sent. So there you have it. Now that's basically your documents on uh I basically have sent uh, an Excel, I've sent a Microsoft Word file, I've sent a PowerPoint file. So I'm gonna go back. I'm actually going to delete this by just holding down. I can send again, delete or check properties. Going to properties just shows you the file size and the file name. So I'm gonna delete what I just created, sorry. By holding down, delete, yes. Hold this down again, delete, yes. Hold this down again, delete, yes. So I've sent those files. Now let's retrieve them, so just take a look at the files that we just sent to ourselves. And yes, you can see I've received uh, all the files that I sent from Microsoft Office. So you can see the uh, test document, test photo, just clicking on that to download. It shows up as a Word file. And the other email, test PowerPoint, download, Shows the PowerPoint file. If I open that, it opens up the PowerPoint file. 
Explore PowerPoint in Border Work, which I changed. Go back to your email. This is our funky word file we created, and there you have it. So, basically, that's the basic idea of Office on uh, Windows Phone 7. It's very functional, you can do a lot of cool stuff with it. So, if you have any questions, any comments, let us know. This is Thunder from Borderworks saying thank you, and I always enjoy entertainment.